As it's nearly Halloween, I thought I would do Halloween nail tutorial. I haven't actually seen any nail tutorials for Halloween this year. If you've done one, let me know, I'd love to see them. Um, but I thought I'd do like a five in one. They are so easy to do, it is unreal. In fact, so easy to do that I practiced them once on this hand and then did them on camera on this hand. So, ridiculously easy. Just to quickly go through all you can see already, we've got a little pinky stripy finger, which is obviously from Nightmare, Nightmare Before Christmas. We've got um, a bloody nail. We've got an orange and a cobweb. That has to be orange in there somewhere. It is Polly Pocket Beauty. Um, we've got a little ghost guy here, and we also have a little ghost guy on the thumb here as well. He is so cute. So I'll just show you which colour nail varnish you need. Okay, so you're going to need a base coat. I've got the Sally Hudson Hardest Nails. A white, an orange, a black. My black um, has got grey speckles in it as well, but I actually really like that. A dark red or a light red, completely up to you. I've gone dark red. Um, a grey and a really good top coat as well. Mine is Sally Hudson Double Duty, as you can see. Okay, so the first thing you'll need to make the cute little Halloween nails is a really good base coat. Now, the one that I've really enjoyed using is this one, which is oh, is the Sally Hudson Hardest Nails. Um, I always use this, even if I've not got nail version, I usually put this in. This one, um, I love it. And then you want to go in and do your base coats. So for the base coats you'll need your black. Da -da -da -da. Mine's got a slight grey shimmer in it but I actually really, really like that. Um, your white Da -da -da -da. and your orange and your grey. Okay and I'm just gonna go do that then. <laughs> first coat to dry and you want it to be completely dry and then you want to do a second coat and then we can get on with the actual designs. See you in a minute. So once you've done your second coat and that's completely dry we can go on to doing the designs. The first thing I start with is usually the white one because it's just easier. So we're going to do a little pinky finger and we're going to do the little white bit on the middle finger as well. To do the little pinky finger I actually just pour a little bit into or onto rather a little plate just like so, just like that, and then I just use like a tiny really thin paintbrush. I'm going to try and do it so you can see what I'm doing, but I apologise if you can't. Um, and it doesn't need to be neat at all. They're Halloween nails, so they don't need to be neat. But with this one, you literally want to start at the base and literally just paint up in a straight line. Just like that. How many did I do? I did three on my other hand, so we'll try and do three on this one to make it matchy matchy. And then you just need the white for your middle finger. And with this one, you want to start from the outside of one side, really thick, and then go round and up to the corner of the other side. Hopefully that makes sense and hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Again, with it being white, you're probably going to have to do two coats of this, but that's fine. So you start on the outside and go up to the inside. Can you see what I'm doing? That's why I don't like white. That's alright, we can fix it. See, just like that. You can see it goes up to the corner from the outside. And then you need to leave the white to dry, but while it's drying, I'll go on to the red one. And with this one, I found the easiest way was to use the end of... Oh, where are you? There. <laughs> so use the end of the brush and just a dot where you want your little blood splatters to end. I did three on my other hand, so I do three on this one too, just like that. You can just manage your like, I mean I've got really small hands, so I haven't really got much room to do much more than that. 
um, and then you just want to go along the top join in the top red ones as you go along again it doesn't matter if it's messy what blood splatter is neat and tidy anyway right right and then you want to take a little bit more and don't paint up but almost drag the brush so it joins up the top like that like that and that's literally it that's probably the easiest now apart from your little lines out of the, all of them and it's actually my favorite <laughs> okay next on to your index finger which is this little ghosty guy here I've just said that the other two were really easy this one is also really easy um, all you do is take your nail polish this one's a bit easier for me this polish because it's literally got a round end um, but you want to dot do a big or slightly bigger dot there doesn't need to be round it's a ghost who's what ghost mouth is round like that and then two ghost eyes and there's your little ghost oh hello um, now the white on your middle finger is going to need an, uh, another little coat but you need that to be completely dry first as you saw if you go over wet white wet white <laughs> if you go over wet white nail varnish it just takes it off so you need it to be completely dry before you go over it again um, but as it's tacky and I'm going to have to do this one over again I will show you my thumb now so this is what the thumb is going to look like with so blurry but again you'll need your white and again I just use the brush um, and you almost want to like sweep it up so bring it around and sweep it up like that. So it's almost like a tick, really, because um, you can make it rounder as you go. And then I, again, found it easier to dab it with the end of the brush to make it more of a curved ghost-type shape. Like that. Again, really doesn't need to be neat at all. Then you want your white to be completely dry and do another coat on it. That, so that's what I'm going to do and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we're all dry and we are ready for the finishing touches. The first one I'm going to do is my thumb because it's the easiest and again you just want to take the black and in exactly the same way as we did this little guy, that is exactly what you're going to do again on your thumb. finishing touches for the middle finger. Now you're going to do exactly the same thing as you did before with pouring a little bit of black onto a plate. There's my plate. Pour a little bit of that on there. Let's pour a little bit Okay. You don't need that much. Don't pour that much out. I've just wasted the majority of the water with this nail varnish. Anyway, um, and again you want to take your brush. Um, I've just cleaned mine by literally pouring a little bit of nail varnish removal onto a cotton pad and then swirling it around in circles and it just removes nail varnish that was already on there. Okay, and for this you again want to dab, dab, dab the black onto the brush, get the excess off, and then you want to pull it out into the like far corner. I usually start with the middle, or usually, I've only done it once. Put it to the middle like that, and then you want the other ones to go to the same point as that.
like them. Let me know which one's your favourite. Like I said earlier, this one is definitely my favourite. Well, actually, I think it's quite close between this one and this one. I quite like this one too, purely because it has orange in it. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> um, let me know if you do try any of these out. If you do, um, tag me on your Instagram pictures or tweet them to me. Um, and I hope you have a really good Halloween, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>